Hello everybody, and thank you for joining me for this video. This is the game of the week. Now, every once in a while, I need a little bit of a break. And so what I do is I play a different game, or I'll look at something else. I've been playing a little bit of Hearthstone, but sometimes Hearthstone gets a little boring, honestly. And so I stumbled across this game called Eternal. It's free to play, and they boast that you don't have to spend a whole lot of money to make it happen, which is kind of right up my alley. And I thought that if I was going to check this game out, maybe some of you guys would want to check it out too. And I couldn't find any really good um, gameplay guides to it, particularly from the start, that weren't sponsored. Um, so not that sponsored is bad, I just want to give my honest opinion for this game. And this is how it starts. So you, you log into the game, create your account, and then it wants you to choose your avatar after agreeing to the Terms of Service. So. Uh, you're gonna find this out just right alongside me. We'll play through probably the tutorial and then we'll see if maybe this is a game worth uh, worth exploring down the road. But this, and now if you're wondering like, hey, wait a minute, this looks a lot like Hearthstone. One of the developers on this game was one of the original developers of Hearthstone also. So there should be some similarities. And it's actually one of the things I don't like about Hearthstone. This, this is very wow right here, is the um, it's the artwork. I like the artwork in Magic the Gathering. I like how diverse it is. They hire artists uh, of all different different levels of diversity and experience. I like this guy. I'm going to go with this guy. I don't know anything about these avatars. Um, I just opened the game for the first time. Don't know much about the gameplay. Um, hopefully we can figure out what's going on here together. Choose a totem. So we're going to start our totem collection with a free totem. It will decorate the side of your playmat in your upcoming games. This looks a lot like red, white, green, blue, purple, like black. I'm gonna go with this white color. Oh, this is time. Wait, okay, wait a minute. There's an icon in here, so this looks like some sort of axe, hourglass, a bird, maybe nature. This is a paw, so maybe this is like animal friendly and like a moon, I'm guessing. When it comes to hunting dragons, we're either all going to end up rich or dead. Alright, so to get Steady. started... Here he comes. <clears throat> ah, my old friend, the bounty hunter. So there's some um, little role-playing elements here. Do I have to click? What Clicking doesn't do much. Here? This looks like a... like a yeah. mana count Hit him fast. here. Like very Hearthstone. Get in a surprise attack with your gunslingers. Click units to select them for attacking. Okay. Attack. Okay. Got it. You are not the only one with not the only one with friends, so this other enemy dragon, Kyriox the collector, is probably gonna summon some carefully some dudes. This line of work, it pays to be prepared. Use your spells to take down those dragons. Use spells to take down those dragons. So kill a unit with four power or more. So I wonder if it wants... Do I click and then point to it? Okay, so I click once and then I point to the enemy. And then I can deal five damage to an enemy unit without the quick dragon. draw. Quick draw looks like it's an ability. Let me just click and... Not double click, but you click on your spell. Your okay, and then we attack with these two. You healed somehow. When will you learn? Gunslinger. And do myself. Very dramatic. This is like Drama Dragon up here. So. Talking trash. Has an ability called Killer? That's interesting. May be exhausted one time to attack the enemy unit. Deal three damage to the enemy player. That's like a battle cry, it looks like. Now, can I choose to attack? Okay, so they got me down to one, but now I can show that like, hey, I've got some direct damage here. But a steady hand and a bit of last bullet. <laughs> How funny. So this looks very class centric, like Hearthstone. Where instead of having like a color scheme like a magic of a class, whatever hero you pick, they've got certain cards perhaps. Mm. 
All right, so tutorial number two. So now we're playing as Vara, the nighttime colored icon. Careful, child. This one is dangerous. Maybe I can it's move my camera to. It looks like handle. for this game, your enemy moving my camera over to here Attack might be a better with your option. Gunslinger. So let's, I guess we're going to attack again. You win when your enemy, you win runs, when out your enemy runs out of health. Okay, so they're really... The elf by dragging. These were our woods ones. So this one's not as drag and drop friendly, but other than that, it's, it's the same kind of a game. Select both of your units so they can attack. Two. Select both of you. So it still, it looks like the defender chooses blockers. Your yeah. opponent chose to block your elf. Okay, chose to block. We saw that. Now you can. I can drag it out. Okay. You're not on the list. I wonder if there's anything I can do during my opponent's turn, or is this almost just like Hearthstone in that I can't do anything on my opponent's turn? Units that are unblockable, unblockable can't be like that. By enemy. Thank you. Each enemy unit oh, can attack only... first. Thank you. Through the shadows. Influence lets you play cards of that faction. That makes sense. Sort of like a. We've got six m moon flavored influence. Okay. And three out of six mana, I guess. We must run. No. I've done enough running. Okay, so we're not obviously we're not gonna run. It's a card game. We're Weapons gonna, are played on your units. We're gonna carry on, they so this is a weapon, it looks like. It wants me to understand that it effects. is a six six weapon. I play it on my okay, I do. It goes on a character. Those beasts won't be it's unblockable. It. Oh, and he's an 8 8. Right, so we attack for 8. Unblockable, we win. That's the point. Of the that wasn't so tough. Patience, girl. It wasn't too tough. And then the bald man says, Patience, girl, as if uh, this isn't a tutorial and I'm not supposed to win. It's an easy thing to lose your way in that first Okay, so I got a card added to Strange things starter to deck reward. Complete various story to earn the shadow starter deck. Is this is this the story? Okay, so the Shadowland it's an easy thing. The Shadowlands are watch your Taking bounties. Okay, so this is kind of strange. The Shadowlands will rot your insides. Like it wants me to play through the these storylines. The lost. Way that forsaken. The Shadowlands will rot your insides. No, well, I'm just gonna. You out, if you're not. I'm just gonna hit the button on the screaming face lady. Let's see what we got going on. Multiple units attack all at the same time, so that's a little different than than in Hearthstone. These sigils I find kind of interesting. Is this like land? The land equivalent in this game? So it's a one casting two one. Two casting three one. Four casting four three. This is very okay. Drag a sigil from your hand to play and increase your power by one. So this is mana. Right. Your power has increased. It will refresh at the start of your turn. So this is this is straight up mana. Bring it on! Can't attack the turn it comes into play. Go to all summoning sickness. Very familiar there. And it's a Minotaur creature type, it looks like, so. Increase your power again by playing another do? sigil from your hand. You now Can I have two order, power organize my hand at all? No. Duelist. Flashy duelist is a gunslinger. Watch me. How come they start at 20, but we started at 6? So another sigil Remember, you lose the was played your health is by our opponent. Zero. This is just this is just this is mana. Like they just took the land off the off the battlefield. Is all they did. Spells okay. have a Don't one know what's time happening effect here. Drag Kill a unit with player. power three or less. Take out right. that enemy wolf with your spell. 
play. Okay, so I have to play this on that creature, and then I can play my sigil, and then I'll just attack for five. These dudes are three sevens. Oh no, three ones. Oh, those are ones. Okay. Yeah. And turn. I like how it doesn't automatically end my turn if Happy I don't have plays. That's something I actually don't like about the arena, is how when you don't have a play, it ends the your turn Neo for you. Um, it kind of telegraphs attack. quite a bit in that case, where your opponents kind of know if you don't have anything going on. Yeah, so the enemy outlaw can only block one. We attack. Another and the game wants to the game wants to teach me how to play a four you cost unit. Oh, no this guy. So he's got charge and something called reckless. Uh, it must attack. Drag your bouncer to block. And it can attack the turn it comes into play. Health. So I want to block. I think I just drag. Yep. Drag up just like uh, Hearthstone. Nope. Just like magic in Hearthstone, you don't choose blockers. Doesn't matter which one I block. Even though your units are damaged in battle when they block, they recover they all of their health. They do recover health their health at the end of, the end of combat. So that's units very magic together. Units with infiltrate provide a special effect the first time they damage. Units the with enemy infiltrate player. provide a special Look effect the first time they damage the enemy player. Enemy this is actually kind of nice to have this level of detail in the first game. So now we know what infiltrate is. We know what uh, charge is. What reckless is. However, attach that amulet to. Oh, it's a weapon. Oh, look at that. Okay. And so this guy's like tapped effectively, right? He's grayed out. I guess that's what that means. So now we'll t we'll attack with both of these guys. The infiltrate from the amulet kicks in, and we get a five-five dude. That's kind of neat. Wait a minute. <laughs> I should have blocked. Right out. Now the only other question I would have about this game is am I going to get attacker. more than Finish one this. attack phase? So if I have a creature If I have a creature in my hand or if when they do damage if I draw into a creature, can I play it and attack if it's got charge, or is there only one attack phase? Victory for what is this chick's name? Vera. Vera. Fate touch. Oh, there she was. Okay. And the eternal throne sitting in Card added to deck. Was wanted back in Argentport. And we're gonna do the gunslinger dude next. And call it a day. Units with summon. Okay. Vara. Alright. I'm trying to look at my cards, man. So far it hasn't. Let You're me do a mulligan. I go my own way, lackey. I go my own way, lackey. Good. Yeah. Good. You go, Vara. That's enough. You're coming with me. It's a pretty, pretty lengthy tutorial here to teach us how the to price of progress. how to play the game. Give an, give an enemy unit, unit minus one, minus one. Very simple. We will obviously use that on the flying, flying guy. In gosh, in four turns? Okay, well. This is a very slow hand. Proud to serve. Play another. Bring it on. Okay, so I could block here, kill us three two. Argent Port Soldier doesn't look like it does too much. Draw two justice sigils from your deck. If privilege, I missed that. Oh, there, so I can bring it up. Better block before your health gets too low. If privilege of rank is discarded, play. Oh, okay, okay, that's cool. Privilege of rank was the card that you played. Got it. Okay, and I don't want to play flashy duelist. I want to play this elf dude, decision. and we're going to give that enemy unit minus one minus one. Very simple. So that's quite familiar. The power and toughness is very familiar. Rule number one, don't drop your tools. 
the price of progress. Flying is familiar, so very similar graphics when to Magic in the Arena. With life steal deals damage, you will gain that this is an equipment piece, Infused so I think I'll have enough. Nice trick. Attack, Ma attack with your Acolyte first. See it coming. Why? Why? I don't want to attack with my Acolyte first. Now you've got them. Drag Fast and strike spell. to your acolyte. Okay. So like an instant. And I gain five. Okay. Thanks That's to good. life steal, your acolyte gains you five. You're getting closer to playing steal. Direwood Rampager. Watch me. Direwood Rampager is just a six four. I know I've got to end my turn tutorial, escape. thank you. Roll it will, said I'm just trying to read the interface, get used to the game a little bit. I wonder if you could if you could do dual classes. That's also one thing about Proud Hearthstone I think would be super cool. If you could dual class in the game. When your units die, they play a cost void and remain play a unit with a cost Shadow of Lens one or less from your void. Is that like my graveyard? Is this my void? The void, it is. Okay. Alright. So this is a summon this ability. Way. Easy peasy. Bring it like on! What kind of huh. So far, it's it's a lot like magic and Hearthstone. <laughs> a lot like him. Flying. Although, I wonder how they handle these these sigil draws. Something that Hearthstone has solved. Is the mana screw? Solve it. And you don't have to draw like a worthless card. So that sigil draw was totally worthless if I just got mana. Like in Hearthstone. So I don't know that this game has anything that Hearthstone doesn't have. Unless they update it more often. Warcry. When this attacks, the top unit or weapon of your deck gets plus one, plus one. That's pretty cool. Kill an enemy Play unit. Your units. Oh well, gee. Assault. Yeah, let's. We're just gonna do that. Your units are now this card this had a Attack had a two this. icon on it. See that two? The two moons in the top right next to the seven. I don't know what that's for. Huh? Yeah. Now we're just gonna swing in. This should be lethal, right? Huh. Imagine that. The math works out for us. Woohoo! All right. I have some. So the bald guy wants to see us. And then my other question is, is there a board limit? Like a limitation of units I can have on the board? She survived Ironthorn. Caleb, the uncrowned prince that Caleb searched for his past. Then there's Caleb's story, which is kind of cool that you can play through all these stories, but... Uh, Almost rather. I'm sorry, okay, sir. so only run. I'd rather just get to the, get to the game and see what you know. Read through you it on my own, rather than my play through a very city. lengthy tutorial. No, sir. Please, I have my orders. Although it's not so bad. Orders, and I've got my shotgun. Which one do you want to listen to? I am Seraph. I will prepare a unit with war cry. War cry. Got to understand the war cry. Yep. With honor. Oh, it's got a little horn. Yeah. Units with charge can attack. Charge the play and would have plus one, plus one from the war cry, right? Play a fire when this attacks, oh rats! Maximum. I keep thinking Always battle cry. Bring a knife to a gunfight. I wish they'd stop doing that to us. <laughs> Spells can be Give the enemy unit your turn, minus six, on... so that's fine. He's detaining our, our dude. Hold the gates. Units do heal up at the end of each turn, which is cool. Proud to Defender serve. chooses blockers. Go. Choose your side. So he blocks the war cry unit. This is sort of like magic light. Like the only real difference is I guess there's no planeswalkers. 
in this game. It's kind of neat. So he's got he's got a buff from the War Cry, and he also has War Cry. Die with honor. Now does he forever have minus three? He might. Minus three attack. That is. Okay, cool. So Oni Ronan has War Cry. When we attack, Stand aside. it's going to. Hmm. So we draw mana. Rats. Hmm. When Stone Powder Heretic attacks, double his attack this turn. Well, why don't we play him? Needs a blade. So we can't attack with Rebel Archer because of the zero power, I guess. So that's an interesting interesting change for Magic the Gathering, because in Magic you could attack with a zero power creature just to get the attack in there. So that's, by comparison, interesting enough a thing. Now I wonder if these fire sigils, or whatever the sigils are, um, are randomly drawn in regular games, unless it's the tutorial. Each of your units deals one damage to the enemy player. So yeah, okay. Obviously, this. With this, you can't miss. Right on time. Right on time. Yeah. I'm so it's now. Don't wait showing up. us how the how we win here. See, this this artwork is kind of like a, a game that came out a few years ago, almost like um. Like that Fantasy Star Online role-playing game that came out a few years ago. Like Gunslingers and Magic and, and things. Flash Fire. Okay, that's cool. How do I see my... I don't want to quit just yet. How do I see my cards? Oh, I like this. I like having a friends list. We don't have that in Magic. So I've got to play through the entire tutorial. And this looks like it could take quite a while, so I'll try and speed this up a little bit. Deal three damage to the enemy player. That's kind of nice. I seek the mage Marison. Unfortunately, Mistress Marison is not accepting petitions just now. Perhaps if you return after the harvest. And I wonder if there's I because of this. I wonder if there's like a single now. player campaign. Interact with the backgrounds. That's kind of neat. Who's out there? Entomb provides a bonus when the unit is killed. Entomb does something when it's killed. Yum. Okay, so this is like a like a death rattle. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I want to block, and we will death rattle for three goes off. That's kind of cool. Time the journey sigil. to Amara is long. And we've got no other plays. Okay. This will do the trick. Plus one maximum power. At the start of your turn, your power fills to maximum. You can shoot That's down at neat. Oasis okay, Seeker so before it has the chance to play attack Play Piercing you. Shot on Oasis Seeker. Is that this guy? Oh, he's got some sort of life gain, so that's why we're trying to kill him. Okay. I mean, I'd like to kill... I'd like to kill Trailmaker. This guy's... This guy looks pretty tough. Gain an influence of your choice. Oh, that's okay. All right. On your feet, Wanderer. So Fire Sigil is going to add one influence of fire and one power, right? Okay. Okay. Right out. Got that figured out. It's written right here. You gain one life and Better draw a card. Before your health gets and we're going to block the 4-4 four because four I don't want to die. Detonate as a spell. Charge Summon the top unit of your deck and it gets charged. So we're going to charge in for a bunch here. 
Centaur raid leader gives your next unit charge. Go on the offensive and attack. Oh, oh, it's a summon ability. It doesn't summon the unit. Got it. But we're gonna attack for four. Uh, I feel like I feel like this game's getting kind of risky. The top unit of our deck just got charges. I'll deal four damage to the new player. Boy. Pit fighter. You're not the only one who knows how to fight. I mean, any kind of any kind of direct damage, and we lose the game, right? So six and four is ten. He's a seven. We'll probably be able to hit him for Time at least three. So he's got a ton of mana. Double damage will double all damage from the unit. This includes no. Player charge charge deals first. double damage to players. So yeah, we're it's gonna give us okay, I'll play this Brace guy first. Yourself. That's fine, then I'll play my sigil. You held them off long enough. We summon all these guys and attack. The enemy chose to block pit fighter with two units. He's gang blocking my pit fighter. I get blocker, that. Okay. Then assign the rest but then he's gonna take four the from other. the Sensari Brigand, and then we use detonate and we win the game. I get it. If the enemy health is low enough, right. detonate will finish. Marison, come down from your I tower. It. I get it. I get it. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's it's a pretty uh, pretty simple design. I just wonder if, and I've heard there's drafts in this game as well. So I've got the Uncrowned Prince, so it's giving me some pretty nice, on the surface, uh, cards to play with initially. Sort of like, maybe those aren't Planeswalkers, they're probably going to end up being... Okay, so well here we can we can check it out. So we got Caleb the Uncrowned Prince now. We'll see how this plays out. He's a 6-6, she maybe he's just a creature. Okay. We've got a Calderon Gunsmith, so the summon isn't out yet, darn it. Unwilling to let secrets be. Would have been nice to have that. You are your father's son. Exhaust an enemy unit. I will force huh. the truth from you if I must. Summon a random weapon on each of your Wow. Summon. Play a random weapon on each of your units. That's terrific. Uh, a 3 2. I want to block the 1 1. I don't want to lose my creature. And they heal up, right? Dust. Cards require not only power but yeah, also awesome. influence. Cards require not only power but influence. You already, have, you already have eight power, power but you need to play, play Caleb, Caleb. You need three influence. You, three fire influence you only have two at the moment. Playing a sigil gives you both one power, one influence. Yeah, I figured that out. Sigil. Yeah, yeah. So did not get the influence. You can wield one relic weapon at a time and can use it to attack once each. Oh, it turn. wants me to play the magma javelin. A relic weapon gets you into the fight or by letting you weapon. attack enemy units directly. If there are no enemy units, you can attack the enemy. If there are no enemy units, I can attack the player. So, do I just attack? Just like Hearthstone. Okay, no problem. On my signal! I wonder if Exhaust is this game's version of tap. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if you just tap the enemy unit. I bet you that was the play it was trying we to get me to make. It. Just tap the enemy unit there and Oh, but then my weapon went away, so hang on a second. It's got a plus one. I, it looks like it's got a durability, just like Hearthstone. She's got war cry. I'm gonna play risky. I'm not gonna block. Mm -mm. You'll be good as new. Yeah, it's war cry when it attacks. It doesn't have to hit the enemy unit, it just whenever it attacks. Nope, 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 nope. I don't want to end my turn. <laughs> I want to attack. Thank you. Careful with this button. Choose a blocker to damage. Let's damage this guy. And we'll get three one ones. Oh yeah, and a pit fighter. I really want to see what happens with this board state. Does it get all scrunched up and all tiny? I mean, these units end up being I'll pretty small when they're on in play, anyways. When a card with warp is on top of your deck, warp. you can see it and play, it as, it 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 and play it as if it were in your hand. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can play Blink Wolf from the top of your deck. I've got 39 cards in my deck and a Blink Wolf with warp. 
Deal two damage to enemy player. Draw a fire sigil from... Well, yeah, okay. Play Blink Wolf. Okay. Play Blink Wolf. I want to do this Thanks. one. So I can get that fire sigil going. Thank you. Fire. Now I've got the three influence I need to play Caleb the Crown Prince. After we go heavy, two, three, four, five. Yep, it's time to just go ham. I wish there were lines drawn when you block, like in, uh, Why must children like in Magic, that would help out a lot. There's a being a, that there's a blocking phase. Uh, you finally have enough fire. Play a random weapon. The rebels each. are aiming high. Best not let them down. Okay. That is terrific. So hell, he got a our Blink Wolf got a Hellfire rifle somehow. Our, our Grenadine got a twin barrel. This other dude got a steel fang chakram. Draw a... <laughs> okay, okay. And this guy got a burning glaive, which is just a plus five, plus three. Oh, they get... Um, yeah, so, so he just does double damage, but doesn't do any more... Plus three, plus three, so three power and toughness. Okay, yeah, and then we'll just go ham. This is just a bad. Like, no, I, I need answers. Fire starter deck acquired. Okay. Oh, and now I'm doing time magic. Okay, so it's going to walk me through Answer each of the decks. I had a feeling it might try and do something like this. Every secret has a price. Which is kind of cool. I wonder time sigil for how much health I'm going to start with, though, in the real plus one maximum power. Relics Zenon provide a bonus as well in play. Xenon Obelisk makes all your units more powerful and becomes even stronger once you've played eight power. Okay, this really reminds me of the city's blessing all of a sudden. My units have plus one, plus one. I wonder where this is going to go. Hopefully it doesn't go... There's more to the battlefield the than just... The sands can still attack while draw a sigil of your choice travels, from your deck. Right. Okay, so I only have time sigils. Attack for one. <laughs> Ancient Terrazon. Who does that remind you of? When a unit with overwhelm is blocked, if it has more strength than the blocker's so health, overwhelm is trampled. Okay. Think about it. I want to do the Xenon Obelisk. Where is this going to go? Okay, it goes down below my character. We've got some sort of power, and maybe there's a limit to how many of those guys you can have in play at any one time. Alright, so he's got an entomb ability. He's gonna block and draw a card. He's, he's not gonna not gonna block. Kinda weird. Through the shadows. Now the unblockable elf, which I like. For each the so timekeeper is gonna get he's gonna be uh Tick Tom. He is a 5-5. Five, five. Gotcha. So he's a 1-1 one, one with plus 4, plus 4. Okay. So we're going to play the Horned Volnruk next. What was this card? So he did three damage to each unit. Give a unit plus four health this turn only. Okay, so that's still a 2-2 two -two that's unblockable. This draws a time sigil from my deck. This dinosaur has overwhelm. I would much rather get a big blocker on the board. 
This fist is the trample icon. Yeah, and this guy gets plus one, plus one for each influence, so he gets pretty tough. If you have eight or more we maximum power. Change. Who is this? What is that mark on your face? Felon Stranger. These were our woods once. Oh, so he gained influence. Okay. I get that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Healer's Cloak. You gain life equal to the wielder's health. So if we put this on our big guy, we will gain 8 health. Okay. I like that. Four. Yeah, why don't we just swing in? This is... This is kind of an ass whooping here, so... <laughs> When you draw a card with fate, fate you when you get draw a, a card with fate, effect. you get a bonus effect. Lemon Shepherd plays a wisp for you for free. Hmm. What's the difference between fate and oh? When you draw it, it happens. Oh, that's interesting. I like that a lot. Focus, child. So now we've got six maximum power. The fates already happened. This guy looks fairly unstoppable. I haven't seen any like straight removal spells yet in this game, but I'm sure they exist. Okay, so now here comes our ancient Terrazon. This should end the game quickly, right? We'll just attack with everybody. Oh, we win. Doesn't matter. Who was that man? Hmm. He seemed strange. I actually wish these cards were a little a little bigger, a little more a little more involved. They they get really small when they're on the board. I guess we got a timekeeper. Wonder if it's gonna make me play another time magic deck again. Yeah, looks like it, Talir. You're with us Put or an against attacking. Us. Oh, so this is envelop is a fast I spell, no fast spell dinosaur. With, with killer, they be exhausted one time to attack an enemy unit. They got the jump on you. Hold them off as long as you can. Okay. Put a unit into its owner's hand. They got the jump on you. Hold them off as long as you can. Got it. <laughs> Killer lets the unit attack an enemy unit directly a single time, each damaging, each damaging the, other. the other. This, this special, special attack, attack can be made the turn the killer. unit is played. Oh, that's sort of like fight. Okay, so it's going to fight another unit, and I'm out of... This is you a terrible situation they've put me damage in. As possible. Not quite as planned. And she's at three. So we should be able to get some damage in there pretty quick here. Yeah, so we'll just go with this guy and go back to your hand. And all we're gonna have is lost in the mist. And this is kind of cool, though. That you can combine some of these. Not quite as planned. You can go with time, or you can go with uh, Units with ambush. ambush. Can be played at the end of the enemy okay, turn. Okay, be played at the end of an enemy turn or during the attacks for a surprise. Okay, so it's flash. Okay, so I'm glad there's a little bit of overlap in in abilities. Okay. It wants me to actually play it as a flash. Different damage to the player. And we block the 4 2. Keep them back just a little while longer. Send that guy back to the hand, and then it covers it back up again so we can't see it. That's a little weak. Yep, so we'll just block it too.
Double the cost of a card in the enemy hand. Okay, and we're at five, so this is the time, time we were. Good time. We'll do that one. End our turn. Block, block. Okay, we got this. Play our killer dinosaur. No. Allows your carnosaur do I get to, to do it? Ah, there it goes. The enemy is on. And then I attack. So my flying dune phantom has helped me win this tutorial. I'm totally shocked you held we were able to win the tutorial. Wait, don't end my turn yet. Attack. See, I keep thinking this is an all attack button. That's we'll a habit I gotta break. Around you. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> like, oh, I'll just end my turn. It's fine. I'm sure we'll win. It's a tutorial. Your other time units have destiny? That was kind of neat. You gotta be so apparently you can redraw your opening hand. Uh, oh, okay, we can. So now it's teaching me how to... At the beginning of Obviously we want to redraw this. It's planned to, to give me some high casting cards and then we can redraw. Now do you always get three or four Please, time sigils? If so, strangers? then that's kind of nice. Because I really... Mean? Oh, it takes three influence, though. See that? Death. I can't. I can't keep them up on the screen, but the top of the card, it's got the three hourglasses, meaning it does cause zero, zero power in this game. But does take deadly three influence, at least. So, deadly units will kill any unit they Lumen damage. Defender so, death isn't touch. A strong attacker, but it can or poisonous for Hearthstone players. Lumen with. Defender is a strong attacker. Isn't a strong attacker, right. Kills anybody it blocks. Bold Adventurer goes down first. Actually, Please I think I strong. like the artwork in this slightly better everywhere. than Hearthstone. Slightly better. I'll find my way. I bring word. Inspire Chaplain. Attacks. Draw a Justice Sigil from your deck. That's pretty cool. Okay, I like Timekeeper, and then Sand Sand Warrior can go down. Okay, and he's got a pretty nice blocker here, so that's that's stinky. All right, aren't I supposed to win the tutorial? It's supposed to be like designed to to help me help me auto win this thing. Take Timekeeper comes down, time. and we attack with our three three. He blocks. Well, okay, that was silly. Lumen Defender comes out next. We're in business. Cards with destiny are played for free when you draw. Them. Have destiny. You then immediately draw another card. Oh, that is just ridiculous. Are you serious? Your your time units have destiny. And she's a six six. Okay, so that's like a, supposed to be a game ender, I time suppose, right? Zone. Not yet. What's the two three? I don't want to get shot. Okay, so he kills my dude. I wonder if this game is designed to get me to see the power of Talir who sees beyond. Summon a sigil of your choice. Yeah, so. Safe travels, friend. I'll take a time sigil and it's going to player into my hand. Into my hand. I'm still okay with that. We will attack for one. He takes it. To save his unit. Of course he does. Eight casting belching behemoth. Well, I'm happy attacking for one, at least for the tutorial. I feel like it's trying to delay the game long enough to get me to play a big unit, and then once we play a big unit, it's gonna say, hey, see? See how awesome time magic is? Oh, there's the Xenon Obelisk again, but I've got eight, and I'm gonna go with... with Talir. So much to discover. Who... Your... Your units have destiny, right? 
Oh, you have to draw them, not from your hand. Okay. And she's got overwhelm, which is also known as trample. We've found it. Okay, we're gonna have Xenobolus, everybody gets plus two. And we go haywire. Yeah, that's the game. The shadows, they are coming. Okay, so, yeah, you're pretty tough. Oh, and now we're into blue magic here. So nature, shamans. Okay. I'll be taking your coin. What led you to this life? Don't worry about my life, honey. Look after your it's own. Like a... There's some drama here. Okay. Flying units can't be blocked by units that don't. Right, so let me cast a one, one versus a one, two. units are exhausted and can't block or attack. They remain exhausted. So it's like exert. Like a stun. I can get behind that. I won three with flying. A gift from the east. Okay, so I'll be able to play a wind shaper with flying. If you know, so flying it, so it's one of the no, He's killing him. So that was an execute, killing exhausted in the unit. Nice. Okay. Okay. Executes a thing. Primal Incarnation. This is a straight up Tempest of Jin right here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save the blocker. And hopefully... These wings suit me just fine. Get so. Okay. Thank you. Stun, and this is a 3 3, and it can stun a dude. You aren't welcome here. And then if we attack with this guy, he can't block us. Okay. It's almost the same graphic. Huh. Okay. You have a unit in your void slash graveyard. Can you hear the wind blow? Oh, I'm gonna attack. You could gain three life by blocking, which I fully expected. These were our woods once. Not at all, Tempest the Jin character. Huh. <laughs> so I don't want to attack with my with my wind shaper. So I like my wind shaper. It's giving my flying units plus one plus one. Deadly. Kills any unit it damages. Okay. A death touch. I can find that. I've got all this lovely flying here. So he, both of these units will kill whatever units he blocks with. Dead. Dead. Creates a duplicate copy of a Echo card when drawn. Creates a duplicate you copy when drawn. Thunderstrike dragon just for drawing. You get an extra Thunderstrike dragon for drawing a, the, the dragon. Okay. Was that on my turn? So I got two Thunderstrike dragons. I 
And he's a big fat 6'7. We like that. There we go. So now my question is, is everything a spell in this game similar to magic or or not? It feels like there's a lot of ways to win this game. Yeah, just attack 12 flying. Does anything about that? We're good to go. This bad everywhere? Primal incarnation. With enemies at every turn. Not at all a copy of Tempest the Jedi. Not. Not at all. Okay, so now this is the final. Nope, that we're still playing Island. Cobalt Acolyte looks pretty cool. Gives a unit flying. <clears throat> Voracious Fossera. Must attack. My people! I am home! Home? You turned your back on your clan. This is Aerial Ace. What are the odds that everything he plays flies? When you polymorph a unit, it permanently becomes a 1-1 one -one frog for the it's rest Hex. of the game. This is this is Hex. <laughs> they're even shamans. Reckless and they're blue. Must attack How each funny. Turn. This is very similar to Hearthstone. Other than defender choosing blockers. Very similar. Oh, this is gonna be slow. Okay. True power lies within. Whoa, that was good. Reduce the cost of each unit by one. That's I don't like that. Stun. Okay, so this is how we're supposed to do this one. I don't wanna. Two of two. Oh wait, that wasn't a creature, was it? That was flash freeze. Still bought me a little time. Everything's not a spell. That's a spell. Shaman, wolf, elemental. So these are like creatures. Hmm. Let's polymorph that guy. He's a 1-1. One, one. Wisdom of the Elders. He draws some cards, that's kinda cool. There you go, it's a flying F plus one plus one. Okay. Alright, so let's get some flying down. I am the wind and the storm it carries. Turn back! He's going red and blue here, that's kind of interesting. After you play a blue spell, play an additional random blue spell from your deck. Okay. These are just ridiculous, right? Like it's kind of the point of the tutorials. Like, look at how ridiculous these guys can be. Okay, so... He's got a 3-5 that I'm not too worried about. Okay. He blocks. Good. We can block either one of these guys. Stone Shaker's already done his job. I'm gonna take the three. I will go to ten. I feel like that's enough health for a game like this one. I'm gonna get more creatures on the board. Take to the skies. This little guy flying. And then swing in for eight. Deal one damage to a unit. Okay, that's fine. He did his job. We gave my guy flying. Now he's got to play some flying in defense. He must attack with this guy. 
And so I'm gonna block with, with my little dinosaur. They take each other True out. Power I wonder if these stack. So did he just reduce the cost of units by two? That's pretty interesting, if so. Oh, here we go. Can you Game hear over. the wind blow? Bam. Oh. How? How did this happen? I mean, pretty basic stuff, right? Nothing that we haven't been playing through before. Um, I think I would have actually liked to see a, a further deviation from the standard card games. When I was in high school, I played all the card games. I played Magic, Overpower, Vampire, Star Trek, Star Wars, all of them. Um, and they all had their differences. You know, this is very much uh, similar to Scout. So that's Scry. This is very similar to Magic. <clears throat> they didn't even you? solve the mana problems. You don't need to it's, worry about uh, that. it's just a different way to keep track of it on the board. It's really all it is. When you scout, look at the top. I get it. I get it. I'm gonna scry one. Top or bottom? We'll put them on the top because I. I don't know how soon I'll get to this five casting. Jotun warrior here. Again. I like the flyer From better. The nope. Ah, darn it. I did it again. You play a curse on an enemy. The cursed it will provide stun an ongoing effect that hinders that unit or player in some way. So they've got to remove the curse, I take it. We'll draw two cards. Okay, we'll attack for two. I want to give my Jotun warrior flying. Value your life. Leave the with gold. my Cobalt Acolyte. Highway Bandit, that's kind of cool. Gives me four mana. Yeah. Why don't we stun that guy with a curse? Uh, I'm gonna play a scale of brawn. Alright, yeah. These were our woods once. Here we go with our Jordan Warrior. Attack. I'm kind of hoping that. So he blocks, removes that 4 1. Then next turn, I will give my Jotun Warrior flying and hopefully draw into the kill card. These game. wings suit me just fine. There's Echo. Well, shit, so just play. Attack, attack, attack. Okay. I wonder what the board clears that end up looking like in this game. There's got to be some, right? Draw the top four cards of your deck. What was that? Choose your side. Put the rest. Draw one of the top four. Okay, scry four, draw one. So he blocks. Dead. Another big old dragon. Send a message. Watch me. <laughs> Play around settle wreckage. <laughs> Someone just made a dangerous mistake. Even though we know we're gonna win. Okay, so blue's pretty tough. Do, have we not played through green yet? Island could hold That's our last color scrap. coming up. It survived. When Caiaphas died, his uncle Roland stepped in to maintain as the rebellion. All right, Roland. A 
It's time for you to stand in defense of the city. Ha! We already run this city. No need to die for it. And yet, die you will. <sighs> well, let's do some green magic here. I think this is the justice emblem, justice sigils. Yep. Similar to additional health. You gain two armor. armor. Also at Do we have armor? Is that gonna go over in this? That's my attack. Shields. Got it. Two armor. Kind of cool. So this is sort of like warrior and Hearthstone warrior-ish. Empower provides a benefit when you play a power card. Order of the Spire will double his strength and health each time. Okay, Order of the Spire. And you play a power card. So he doubles Awaiting his... Awaiting your command. He starts off as a 1-1, one, one, sort of like a super tough pelt collector. I like that idea. No, I'm not. It's a power card. So now is he really going to be a 2-2? Two, two? And a 4-4? Okay. Units with endurance ready themselves on both players' turns, allowing them to attack and block. Oh. They are also immune to being stunned or exhausted by enemies. Okay, so it's it's like Not vigilance, but better. Which I like vigilance. That's kind of cool. Oh, rats! My Order of the Spire is toast. I bring word. Meet my axe! Man. So now he untaps? Yep. Cool. Right out! Centaur Outrider, good old 5 2. While he has 4 attack or more. I don't know if there's a way for me to give him 4 attack or more. But I'll get him in play just to do it. Well, I'm going to attack just to trigger the war cry. Somebody gets munched on. I lost my war cry. Proud to serve. But such is life. I do like vigilance. Or, you know. Whatever they call a it in this game, endurance. Position. I don't like whatever just happened. Though. Give an enemy unit minus one, minus one. Is that forever? And here come Roland's Honor Guard, Flying Life Steel 7 life 7. His. Nice. Three, 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 three. Yep. Okay. Draw a sigil from the deck, so it's like draw a land card from your deck. Choose a blocker to damage that one. Skeeter. That's like a... <laughs> That's pretty funny artwork. Pet Fighter... A Blink Wolf, which has has that one ability, Warp, which is kind of cool. Serpents Another on creature the horizon. with Cry coming out, and 7-7 seven, seven flying, coming to mess up the party. Yeah. This is going to be hard to deal with right here. He can gang block my Town Watchman guy. Dude. I don't have to block anymore. I'll just take the damage. No big deal. Fight me, coward! I'm fine with that. I've got this super great flying character with a longbow. Had enough. Now report to the barracks. This 
a lot to learn with this game. I feel like these uh, tutorials are really in depth for sure. To shore up. Before you get into the actual like deck building element of it and the you know like when you take over the game and kind of play on your own hero of the people, and that's kind of cool. It's a neat game for sure. Yeah. You can definitely feel the. This is like a very Hearthstone approach right here. Very, very Blizzard mechanics. This is like something out of Warcraft 3, like the background almost. But again, this game was developed by a one of the original developers of Hearthstone, so you can see the influence. No, no worries. Focus, child. Draw a time sigil. This actually is interesting. The grunt with war cry. And then the the long sword, so I can give him plus two plus There's two. There's much to learn here. Is a student? I don't know what a student is. When a card with mentor is played, you may exhaust one of your units as a student. So there's even a mentor ability in this game. I mean Battle skills include any skill a unit can have that benefit it once played. This includes flying, endurance, lifesteal, and war cry. When you play a unit, it gets the in its battle skills. Oh, I see. Okay, For so those Hero who of the cannot. People gets the battle skills of... Okay. All right. They will be punished. I see how this is going to go. I fly for the throne. So Hero of the People gains flying and war cry. And she's a 3-3. And then she's gonna get Endurance and Lifesteal. Endurance was Vigilance again? I mean I guess they couldn't just straight copy the turn, but it would have been nice if they could just straight copy the turn. Three, three. I'm not gonna worry about it. I got a feeling I'm gonna get some life steal here pretty soon. So. Hold them off. And she's a five, five. Yeah. <laughs> My hero of the people is now Lyragonda. Be punished. When you play, when. When you play a weapon, gain two armor. Okay, not to worry about that. Let's do something interesting here. Let's give all of our... Oh, did that cost four or two? Oh, I did that wrong. Well, in either case. Does he gain block? I don't have first strike. Ready to start. Ready to serve. I don't think this matters. I think we win. The throne away. There's a flying unit. A one, two. Ah! Mantle of Justice. Okay. <laughs> we'll put on our unit with uh, endurance. He kills whoever blocks, and ready to stop. And he can block again. Perfect. The throne awaits. I, I need to find a way to remove these flyers, though. If I had just like deal two damage, that'd be nice. A three six minutes are. I'm gonna go with a long sword, and so I can attack with all three of my units. I'd like to end the game. Kind of nice. Oh, I can't do like rolling damage like you can in magic. Oh, that's interesting. Choose a blocker to damage, or maybe I can. Okay, choose a blocker to damage. 
All you do is just separate it out into like weird phases. Ready to serve. Proud to serve. Interesting. Okay. I don't know why he keeps summoning minions though. That's like, like there's an ability out happening that I can't I can't figure out. Okay, and the game's over. There we go. Hey, flying ought to do it. Fall out. We march for Argentport. Good to go. We got Roland, the Iron Fist, and we should be done with one more game. One more game with this tutorial. Surrender, and you will the be relic treated weapon well. is equipped to my character. Will never fall Regular weapon traitorous. is equipped to Stop. little units, minions, creatures, whatever. What's why is this guy? Provide a one -time okay. bonus. Pay Once six to give Copper Hell. You can spend Herald it plus to give plus Copper Hell Herald plus two plus two. Okay. When you play a weapon, exhaust an enemy unit. Interesting. Proud to serve. Always bring a knife to a gunfight. Well, yeah, I'm gonna block here. Do not want him tapping all my units down. <clears throat> By order of the Auric Bank. This guy's a 1-3. My sword is yours. Now, can I play the relic weapon on me and attack a flying unit? I can. That's kind of nice. Silence removes all text and skills from a unit. Frontier silence. Confessor will silence an enemy unit when you play him. It's just like Hearthstone. Same exact thing. To me! Silence does not exist in Magic the Gathering in any capacity. Warcry 2? That's kind of nice. So, obviously you gotta silence face. that guy. He's got endurance also. He's about to be a nine. Oh, plus two plus two. He'll be a five seven. Well, that's that's not great. Your units have endurance and are invulnerable to damage. That's terrific. One thing I could use is the name of the card at the top of the card. It's kind of weird having it in the middle. But it is what it is. I will take six. And I will hope to get some sigils. Double Order of the Spires. Awaiting your command. What's in power again? Does something when you play a power card. Right. That's like my pelt collector. This, this isn't going to work out, though. He's got a 6-6 six, six with a war cry that must attack, so... I'm going to have to block and he's going to kill both of my dudes, right? Yep, there they go. Justice Sigil and play it Shields. like this. 
and then we will double our pellet collectors. Not, I mean, order the spire. But I prefer making relations to existing cards that I know of. So even though Roland the Iron Fist is pretty tough, he costs eight, and uh, and I don't think I'm gonna get my eight, Fly steady, my eight mana energy or ener uh, whatever it's called, power, I think. Better put this on my. Oh, it's a relic weapon. Goes to me. Hmm. Okay, well, let's get this guy out of the way. Can I do that? And then attack with everybody? Weapon, go away. Mantle of Joe. Okay, 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 okay. I like this. Definitely going to attack here. This is game. He has to block. He blocks. We kill the unit. And we've got endurance. So, oh, I could have. Oh, I forgot about my relic weapon. I could have. I can just do this. Yeah. Okay. They keep coming. I must act. Easy peasy. New deck acquired. Complete the stories of all five scions. Got that achievement. Complete the starting campaign. Okay. Claim your reward. So I only get one. Do I get all three? I don't really know what the cards are to do yet, so I'm not sure if I if I got good ones or not. What's your play style? with the warrior. Okay. Complete a gauntlet. That's like a quest, I would imagine. Where can I look at cards? Okay, cool. And these are my... These are like the starting decks that you get. So we'll take a look at these in probably the next video for the Eternal game. I will probably do a few more of these. This game is kind of fun. It's a little like Hearthstone mixed with magic a little bit. And it does some things I like about Hearthstone. Um, does some things I like about Magic as well. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. See you next time.